As you know, we have something very special happening next week, so let's pair and style the core collection surfaces in three minutes using botanicals. So let's start with this one. For some awesome light dark contrast, we paired cement with slate. What I really want you to notice though, is how this plant sprig is peeking in from the corner. I call this trick the prop and peek. This is how you achieve it. We did it with the Replica Studio. All you have to do is take the stem of that plant and stick it into the corner grooves like this. Now without any tape, without needing an assistant, your plant can prop like this and peek into your scene. Here's the same technique, but with flowers. See how you can match the color of the flowers to elements of your photo here, the sprinkles, or you can just choose in-season florals to evoke a certain season. This, by the way, this is concrete, and this is the rose marble surface. These are actually two of the original surfaces we came out during Kickstarter, so they're very close to my heart. If you like the dark gray look, which I do, this is a fabulous pairing. This is slate and this is smoke. The swirly look of smoke makes it one of my favorite surfaces of all time. Look what we're doing with the botanicals here as well. We have two different sprigs of the pink florals and they're coming out from behind the product. Love this. Alternatively, you can go all gray. Here we swapped in concrete to pair with the smoke. And if you love the light and bright look, this is a way to incorporate a little bit of gray. See how we use subway tile paired with the smoke? The gray of smoke matches the grout of subway tile beautifully and still so light and so bright. Up next is a completely classic pairing, subway tile with butcher's block. This is a good photo, but it's missing a little something. I think it's missing that. How great does this plant look in the background? I love that the naturally drooping stems and leaves create this beautiful frame for the product, both behind it and to the side. Smaller plants work too. Just put them in the background and keep them blurred. Also, notice how we cropped off about one third of the planter. This is my ideal crop to show most of an object, but not the whole thing. One third of it cropped off. This gorgeous bright pairing is white brick and white marble, by the way. This is what white brick looks like when you don't blur it so much. It's totally up to your personal preference. Really blurred, low f-stop, not very blurred, high f-stop, or use portrait mode on your phone. How cool is this? Take a bouquet of flowers, lay it on its side right behind your product. You've created a beautiful frame. This is weathered wood, by the way. I love it paired with white surfaces like this. Same technique of framing from behind. It's just less voluminous when you use eucalyptus. By the way, shiplap, beech wood. Love this pairing. Finally, create a diagonal with a sprig in the back corner and a sprig in the front corner. This is golden hour, by the way. It goes with everything. It even goes with butcher's block for this tiki look. And that's it for eye level. You know I'd never leave out flat lay, so let's talk about my favorite flat lay styling tips using botanicals. So the last thing I showed you was this, using two of the same or different botanicals in the back corner and the front corner to create an eye level diagonal. Well, we can do it with flat lay too. Just put one botanical in each of two opposite corners. This acts like arrows that subconsciously point toward your product. It also fills up some space and adds visual interest. This is particularly good for small products and objects like these earrings. To take it up a notch without adding extra difficulty, do this. Shoot downward past a tall plant. If you use a low f-stop on your DSLR or the Lightroom mobile app on your phone, you get this incredible out of focus blurred effect. What's happening is that the areas of the plant that are closest to your camera are going to be out of focus because your focus is on your product. This just creates this incredible depth where previously there was just flatness. Here's something similar, but with a plant that has leaves both up high and down low. You can see that some of them get blurred and the ones that are right near the level of your surface, they're gonna stay in focus. You can also see that the edge of the mortar here, this is also blurred. By using this technique, you really create a lot of depth while keeping your subject in focus because the blur makes the objects that are blurred less obvious, the eye goes to your subject. I completely forgot to tell you the names of the surfaces. This is Beechwood. What I love about it is that it's neither very warm nor very cool. It's a very neutral toned wood and these knots give you just enough visual interest without distracting from your subject. As you can see, when I duck, <laughs> the earrings are very much the star of this shot. And this stunner is desert clay. See the detail in it? It really looks like there's etchings and it gives a very artisanal look that again, adds texture to your photograph without distracting from your subject. One of my all time favorites. 
and certainly not least, smoke. What makes it different from the other gray surfaces is that it has this painted texture. There's a little bit of white swirling in it. I adore it. And that's it for flat lays, guys. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed learning about how to style with botanicals, both in eye level and in flat lay form. And definitely come and join us for that very special event that's happening next week. Event details in the comments.